Hello everybody, it's Tom and Jerry Fan64 here. It's now time to do a movie review to Casino Royale with um Daniel Craig. This was Daniel Craig's debut as James Bond. And this is one of two. I finally rewatched this movie and I this is one of two. This is the second Daniel Craig Bond movie I've reviewed on my channel. The uh, the the first James Daniel Craig Bond movie I reviewed on my channel was No Time to Die, which I reviewed back in October of 2021. I still have, I haven't, which I saw No Time to Die in theaters, and that I still think that No Time to Die is better than Casino Royale. But I will, but I do think Casino Royale is my second favorite Bond movie, and I will be reviewing Quantum of Solace later today, hopefully. Okay, Casino Royale is a great movie. I heard Quantum of Solace is the weakest of Daniel Craig's Bond movies. So yeah, if I'm. I'm hoping that there might there might be a movie update tomorrow. We'll see, depending on if my money comes on because tomorrow is February third. So yeah, if I'm able to go to a store on tomorrow, I'm hoping to get the the other two Bond movies that I need to get, which are Skyfall and Spectre, and I do hope to get No Time to Die as well. This was a really great movie. It has a lot of I think this is definitely Daniel Craig's second best. Bond movie. I think No Time to Die is definitely better, but I still enjoyed this one nonetheless. It's a really great movie. Eva Green is great as the as um Vesper Lynn. So yeah, she was a great Vesper Lynn was a great character. And Mads Mikkelsen, this is probably Mads Mikkelsen's best performance. I think this is probably the best villain role that um Mads Mikkelsen ever played. And I can't wait for him to be the villain in the new um in the new Indiana Jones movie. He's gonna be the villain in the new Indiana Jones movie. I'm excited to see him in a villain another villainous role. Yeah. Mads Mikkelsen was great as the villain with Sheaf. This is a this is definitely on the more intense side. It's definitely the most intense Bond movie ever. Definitely one of the most intense. It has a lot of great action, and it's directed by Martin Campbell, who also directed GoldenEye, which I do hope to watch later, hopefully tomorrow, we'll see. I know some of the Bond movies are on HBO Max right now, so I decided to watch Casino Royale on HBO Max. So yeah, this is a this one is a really great movie. See, so yeah, I'm going to give Casino Royale a 10 out of 10 stars and an A-. minus. So if you guys haven't seen this movie, I highly recommend it. Before I end this video, I'm going to show the, I'm going to show the DVD very quick. Here's disc one of the film and disc two of the bonus features. I do have Quantum of Solace on Blu-ray, so I will try to review Quantum of Solace today or tomorrow. So that is it for my review to Casino Royale, in which I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you're generous enough, please consider leaving a like on this video and subscribe, plus it really helps out. And I'll see you guys on my next movie review, which will be on the Bond movie Quantum of Solace. So I'll see you guys then. Adios.